When a chimpanzee at the zoo suddenly fell into a deep pond and started drowning, all the zoo staff were too scared to help the animal. It seemed that the poor primate had only a few minutes left to live, but at the last moment, a brave visitor rushed to help. This real story took place on July 17, 1990, at the Detroit Zoo. It was a hot summer day. Families with children were walking around, eagerly watching the animals. One of the most popular exhibits was the chimpanzee enclosure. Visitors loved watching the chimp's behavior. Among them stood out an 18-year-old male chimp named Joe Joe. He was a crowd favorite thanks to his playful and mischievous personality. On this day, Joe Joe was entertaining the visitors as usual, swinging actively on the branches. Suddenly, something unexpected happened. A fight broke out between two male chimps in the enclosure. Joe Joe and another large male started yelling aggressively at each other. Their loud cries echoed throughout the zoo, attracting the attention of the visitors. The chimps' fur stood on end as they bared their teeth, showing off their strength. Visitors watched the growing tension with concern. Some parents quickly led their children away from the enclosure. Out of nowhere, the other male attacked Joe Joe. A fierce struggle began. The chimps rolled on the ground, hitting each other. Their roars and screeches echoed through the air. Joe Joe tried to defend himself, but his opponent was stronger. Zoo staff rushed to the enclosure, trying to break up the fighting animals. They yelled and banged on the enclosure barriers, hoping to distract the chimps but the animals ignored their attempts. In the chaos of the fight, Jojo was pushed to the edge of the island in the enclosure. He lost his balance and fell over. With a loud splash, Jojo hit the water surrounding the island. The crowd gasped in shock and fear. Jojo began to flail desperately in the water, his eyes wide with terror. He let out piercing cries for help. Chimpanzees cannot swim, and the situation quickly became critical. The water in the pond was murky and dirty, making it hard to see where Jojo was. His dark fur blended into the muddy water. Only the splashes and ripples on the surface showed where the chimp was struggling. Every second, his movements became weaker and more disorganized. It was clear that Jojo was quickly losing strength. Visitors panicked and started shouting for help. Many took pictures of what was happening on their cell phones. Some tried to call emergency services, parents covered their children's eyes so they wouldn't see the terrible sight. Zoo staff rushed to the enclosure, desperately trying to think of a way to save the drowning chimp. Someone ran for a life ring. Others looked for a long pole to try to pull Joe out of the water. But none of the workers dared to jump into the water. Chimpanzees are five times stronger than humans, and the situation was extremely dangerous. The enclosure was also surrounded by a tall fence topped with barbed wire making it nearly impossible to quickly get inside. Meanwhile, Jojo began sinking beneath the water. His head bobbed up and down, disappearing under the surface. His movements grew weaker by the second. It seemed like a tragedy was inevitable. Time felt like it had slowed down. Every second stretched into an eternity. The air was filled with cries of horror and despair. People couldn't believe they were witnessing such a tragedy. Small children cried, not understanding what was happening. Adults felt helpless in the face of the looming catastrophe. The zoo staff frantically searched for a solution. They tried to reach Jojo with long poles, but nothing worked. The pond was too wide. Someone suggested draining the water, but that would take too much time. Every passing second decreased Jojo's chances of survival. The other chimps in the enclosure were also agitated. They paced around the island, making unusually loud cries. Some approached the edge of the pond, as if trying to help their fellow chimp. But their fear of water kept them from jumping in. Their distress only heightened the atmosphere of panic. At this moment, a man unexpectedly stepped out from the crowd of visitors. It was Rick Swope, an ordinary zoo visitor who had been a truck driver for many years. He was at the zoo with his family for the weekend. Rick quickly assessed the situation and knew there was no time to waste. Jojo had only minutes left. While others hesitated, Rick made a bold decision. He took off his shoes and jacket. People around him looked on in surprise, not understanding what he was about to do. Rick's wife, realizing his intentions, tried to stop him. She grabbed his arm, begging him not to take the risk. Rick's children watched their father with anxiety, but Rick was determined. He gently removed his wife's hand and said, 
I have to do this. I can't just stand here and watch. Then Rick ran toward the enclosure. He quickly climbed over the fence, despite the zoo staff's warnings and shouts. Once inside, Rick paused for a moment, fully aware of the risk he was taking. But the thought of saving a life gave him the courage he needed. Rick took a deep breath and jumped into the murky water of the pond. The water was much colder than he expected, stinging his skin like icy needles. The mud immediately clouded his vision, and he couldn't see anything around him. For a brief moment, panic gripped him, but Rick forced himself to focus. He swam in the direction where he had last seen Joe Joe. It was difficult to move through the water. His wet clothes weighed him down, and his boots filled with water. Each stroke was a struggle. His hands groped through the dark water, searching for the chimp. His lungs burned from lack of air. Rick knew he didn't have much time. Suddenly, his hand brushed against something soft. It was Joe Joe's fur. Rick grabbed hold of it and tried to pull the chimp closer to him, but he almost lost his grip. Joe Joe's skin was slippery with mud, and the chimp was much heavier than Rick had expected, weighing nearly one and a half times as much as Rick himself. Rick tried to surface, but the weight of Joe Joe pulled him down. He fought desperately to keep his head above water. His lungs were on fire from lack of air. For a moment, Rick thought he might drown, but he pushed himself to keep going. The crowd around the enclosure held their breath, straining to see Rick and Joe Joe in the murky water. The seconds dragged on painfully. It seemed like an eternity before Rick's head finally appeared above the surface. He was gasping for air, struggling to hold onto Joe Joe's limp body. The chimpanzee was unconscious, his head hanging loosely. Rick, using the last of his strength, swam towards the shore. Each stroke was a monumental effort, but he wasn't going to give up. Zoo staff rushed to help. They reached out their hands trying to grab Rick and Joe Joe. Finally, they managed to pull the chimp out of the water and onto the shore. Rick, exhausted, barely managed to climb out of the water himself. Joe Joe lay motionless. Veterinarians immediately began giving him medical aid. They started performing CPR on Joe Joe. Rick collapsed on the ground beside him, shaking from the cold and the stress of what he had just been through. Someone threw a towel over Rick's shoulders. After a few minutes, Joe Joe finally came to. He coughed and opened his eyes. The veterinarians breathed a sigh of relief the worst had been avoided. Joe Joe was alive, though badly frightened. He was quickly taken to the zoo's veterinary clinic for a full examination. Rick was also taken for medical care. He had many scratches and bruises from the chimp's claws, and doctors needed to make sure there was no risk of infection. While Rick was being treated, the zoo's director approached him. He warmly thanked Rick for his bravery. Thanks to Rick, a terrible tragedy had been avoided. The director promised that the zoo would cover all of Rick's medical expenses. They also gave Rick and his family a lifetime free pass to the zoo. Rick humbly tried to downplay the praise. He said that he simply couldn't stand by and do nothing, and that anyone else would have done the same. But to everyone around him, Rick was a true hero. His act of courage inspired many people and reminded everyone of the importance of helping others, even when it comes to animals.